The melting Greenland ice sheet releases huge amounts of mercury. Scientists have found large amounts of mercury in the waters of the melting Greenland ice sheet. The observed concentrations are so high that they are matched only by rivers in the industrial regions of China. As if the melting of the Greenland ice sheet wasn't already a big enough problem. New research has shown that this mass of ice is releasing water containing some of the highest levels of mercury in natural waters on record. Scientists have estimated that about 42 tons of mercury enter the surrounding waters annually from the Greenland ice sheet. The research results were published in the journal Nature Geoscience. The waters from the melting glaciers we studied in southwest Greenland have surprisingly high levels of mercury, said John Hawkins of Florida State University. And that leads us to ask a whole bunch of questions, such as the potential way this mercury could get into the food chain. Hawkins along with glaciologist Gemma Wadham of the Cabot Institute for the Environment at the University of Bristol, began their research by collecting water samples from three different watercourses formed from water from melting ice sheets. They also took samples from the surrounding fjords. Researchers wanted to test the water quality of the melting ice mass and how nutrients from these meltwaters could sustain coastal ecosystems. Hawkins and Wadham were prepared for the presence of mercury in these waters, but they did not expect it to be so much. Scientists say mercury concentrations in Greenlandic waters are matched only by the polluted waterways of industrial areas of China. And as the Greenland ice continues to melt, even more toxic metal will end up in the waters. Experts believe that the Greenland ice sheet has already reached tipping point and most of its ice is doomed to melt. Mercury is a naturally occurring element. Together with all its compounds, it is highly toxic and tends to accumulate in living organisms. Over the last 150 years, human industrial activities have released hundreds of thousands of tons of mercury into the environment. Currently, the level of this element in the atmosphere is 500% higher and in the oceans by 200%. From pre-industrial levels, scientists have found concentrations of mercury well above average in the coastal waters around Greenland. In the sediment called glacial flour, which flows into the surrounding waters with the thaw, they were the largest. Fishing is Greenland's main industry, and the country is one of the major exporters of seafood, halibut and cod. Scientists are not sure whether the toxic substance found in Greenlandic waters will spread further and further away from the island, or will get into the food web, where it will continue to accumulate. Through many years of fieldwork in West Greenland, we have learned that glaciers export nutrients to the oceans. But the discovery that they can also carry potential toxins reveals a worrying dimension of the impact of melting glaciers on water quality and the health of people and animals that use it, she said. Wadham. About 10% of the Earth's land surface is covered by glaciers. 
but these environments are changing rapidly as a result of rising temperatures associated with climate change. Scientists around the world are conducting research to better understand how warming, and thus faster melting glaciers, will affect geochemical processes critical to life on Earth, for decades. Scientists viewed glaciers as frozen blocks of water that were of limited importance to Earth's geochemical and biological processes. But in the last few years we have shown that this way of thinking is not true. This study highlights that the ice sheets are rich in elements that are vital to life, said Spencer. The source of contamination is unknown. Mercury in rivers elsewhere on the planet comes primarily from industrial wastewater. This element can also get into the water from the air, where it in turn got as a result of fuel combustion. It can also fall to the surface with rain or snow and then flow into local watercourses or rise again into the atmosphere. But scientists suspect that the discovered mercury is unlikely to be the result of human industrial activity. We didn't expect there to be so much mercury in the glacier water nearby, said Rob Spencer of Florida State University, co-author of the study. Of course, we have some hypotheses about what could lead to such high mercury concentrations, but these findings have raised many questions that we don't yet have answers to, he added. The authors of the study suggest that the leaking mercury actually comes from the Earth's natural geochemical properties. Its high concentrations may originate from the erosion of rocks under the Greenland ice sheet, which are naturally rich in mercury, which could raise some worrying prospects. All efforts to manage mercury so far have been based on the belief that the increasing concentrations of mercury that we are seeing throughout the Earth system are mainly from direct anthropogenic activities, such as industry, said Hawkins. But mercury from climate-sensitive environments such as glaciers can be a much more difficult source to manage.